What, pro tip, would you like to give to the opposite sex? Be active. I don't want to f someone who's just laying there. So remember, kids, necrophilia isn't just boring. It's also a crime. It's not attractive when girls pretend to be dumb. Rather the opposite. There's nothing sexier than a woman who's hot and also intelligent. You'd be surprised at how many guys really mean be smart but not smarter than me. Probably hard to imagine if you're not one of those guys. But enough guys are like that where this is a thing. Motherhood and being married to someone in the military are not identities. Don't get mad when I roll Hot Wheels car across you titties. Always ask if the girl is okay with ass play before you start trimming her nails. Enthusiasm is sexier than anything else. Ladies, if you ask what a guy is thinking and he says nothing, there is a 50% chance this is correct. Yes, we can actually turn our brains off like that. The other 50% is that we were thinking something so completely off the wall and random you'd think there was something wrong with us if we told you, assuming you didn't already think so. The plates go in the cupboard next to the bowls. Foreplay is important, for both, and I need to feel comfortable. Also, communicate, standard stuff. Guys would talk to a slab of concrete if it approached them first. Women, throw out all those rules your friends are giving you i.e. make him make the first move. If he doesn't call you back 24 hours, post date dump him. If HES friends with his ex dump him, etc. All guys are different. If you're not sure, speak up. Take your socks off in bed it feels good. Okay, can I keep the crocs on though? Holy f I never thought I can get so erect. Just be yourself. You don't need to impress or be liked by everyone. If you be yourself you'll find someone who likes you for you, not who you're pretending to be. Some men like me for example find all sizes of boobs and ass nice. It's okay to be single. Being alone doesn't suck that badly and everyone asking you why you're single can shove it. This advice goes to those in a relationship that think it would being alone would be worse and those that are single and feel pressured to not be. It's worth it to wait and find someone you're actually happy with, even if it's only for a night. Pretty sure this advice is good for people of whatever gender, but so is most of the advice I've seen in here. Don't hint at anything, period. We won't understand what you're trying to say or we will understand. But we ignore it because we don't want to look like a creep. Just straight up tell us what you want. Talk to the guy you like instead of waiting for him to talk to you. Kiss the guy you like if he isn't making that move fast enough. Tell the guy you like what you need before it becomes a problem. If I'm wearing a button-down shirt and we are undressing each other, remember to unbutton the sleeves before you try to take it off. This applies to both sexes. Don't play games. Be honest about your intentions with whoever you're with. This applies to both sexes. Play more games. Board games are a great way for everyone to have fun. Don't worry about your boob size. In the real world it's a complete non-issue. The last girl I was with was so deeply insecure about her boobs that it made me realize how much pressure is being put on girls to look a certain way, even when it comes to things out of their control. The Mandalorian armor stays on. Tip from the bi person who has dated both. Guys say what you want, need. Girls say what you want, need. And wash your ass. Even though I may look like it, I'm not a homeless sexual predator. I am just an IT guy. Show interest. Not even sexually. Just showing genuine interest in me as a person is often enough to make me fall for you. Texting all day ruins the conversation we would have had in person. That article you read about how some guys like a bit of teeth in a BJ was f lying to you. We do not control unexpected boners. They surprise us just as much as they surprise you. Learn how to give better oral sex to women by asking them to show you how they like to be licked by sucking, licking your finger. Then do that same thing to their clit. I'm into guys but for females. And cut men. Please don't yank as hard as you can on a guy's foreskin. Especially because some foreskins are more tight than others and it can hurt. 
A lot of times, women just want to talk, vent, rant without wanting a solution to our problem. Just having someone actively listen and be sympathetic is all we need. Please don't finger girls like you're digging for change. And cut your fingernails. Girls come way longer than guys do. Don't pull out three seconds into my orgasm please. Thank you. Pull out after four seconds. Got it. Talk about what you like in bed beforehand. Tell me how I can make you feel better than good. Be open and honest about what gets you going. And let me get you there. I want to make you feel good so tell me how to get there. Unless you prefer I stumble around in the darkness. In which case. Tell me that too. If you're giving a BJ and getting tired and ready to wrap it up. Don't keep changing things up. Chivalry is nice but don't overdo it. We can tell when you're trying too hard. I had a guy nearly knock me over once trying to get to the door before me so he could hold it for me. Milady. You don't have share the same hobbies as your partner, just as long as you appreciate their enthusiasm about it and respect the time they dedicate towards it. This really goes both ways. The entrance is further down than you think. Buy like a lot. Like you haven't even passed my balls yet. It would be nice if girls made the first move sometimes. It get incredibly tiring always being the one to initiate. We just want to feel wanted too. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. Guys. Please moan. It's not embarrassing. It's hot. Don't bring your f bachelorette parties to our gay bars. Damn it. This applies to both sexes. Wash your hands after using the bathroom. Let me pee after round one before round two. For the women out there, in most occasions you don't have to be worried about telling a guy you like him. We are starved of that kind of thing and even if we don't like you back, the fact that you said that will probably boost our confidence for the next 10 years. If you did it to get her attention and make her like you, she expects it to always be part of your relationship. Whining and dining, romantic gestures, back rubs. When it stops we feel like you are no longer interested and it hurts. I would imagine most men feel the same way as well. I usually see both parties kind of let the honeymoon phase fade away. One partner slows down on the flowers and dinner, and the other partner slows down on physical intimacy. Both parties are likely hurt enough to stop trying and it fizzles from there. Wash ya ass. Take photos of ya girl or ya man when they get dressed up. I'm about to come does not mean change the rhythm. If you get to the point where clothing is coming off and the person you're with puts an end to things because you're not wearing matching underwear, just end things there. That person is entirely too difficult to keep around. If their thought when things start getting heavy is those do not match, just leave and save yourself some headache. Sounds like there's a good story behind this one lol. Not a pro tip but, ladies I don't care if I see your asshole during doggy I'm too busy clapping cheeks and making sure you enjoy it. Sometimes your best buddy isn't as raring to go as we'd both like, no matter how disappointed you are about it. Remember, your mouth and hands still work, and chances are you've got some toys packed away somewhere, hopefully fully charged. Laughing face. Women are much more impressed by a let's keep having fun evening than a guy who wants to roll over and just get some sleep. Trust me, we're into those hands and mouth. Some of us are really into toys. Adapt. Improvise. Overcome. Winking face. Stop sending unsolicited dick pics. Yeah ladies. Seriously. Pretty much no woman wants an unsolicited picture of your dick. Probably mentioned, but don't be playing hard to get. Guys will either be turned off or just think you don't like them and give up. And if he does keep after you when you've clearly turned him down, that's not really a good sign either. Sloppy slow blowjobs are usually better than aggressive ones. I don't know how you like it, so just say it. There are some games that can't be paused. No vaginal after anal anything. You will give an awful ooty if you do this. Please decide what you want to eat. Girls. Give guys more non-sexual physical attention. Head kisses and cuddles and hugs from behind. Touch us more. Head pats and treats. 
We can't read minds lol. Sometimes we just want to be the little spoon. The spirit is willing but the flesh is spongy and bruised. Your fragrance should subtly enhance your presence not ominously warn of your impending arrival. I don't understand your signals at all. Always salt your pasta before boiling. Stop making a big deal of me not being wet enough. If you don't stay hard we laugh it off. So stop getting annoyed at me for having issues sometimes. Even if you think it's clean, wash it again. Girls. We guys do not understand signals. A simple I like you would suffice and make our lives a lot easier. Thanks. Strippers do not like you. We like your money. Compliments will make us think that you love us. We are very starved. Don't play hard to get. Also, sometimes your subtle hints are too subtle. Guys like me have such low self-esteem that it's easy to think you were glancing at someone behind me. Men should make more noise. This is hot as hell when they make us see how they feel good during sex. I'm gonna just f say it as a dude I would like to get flowers and chocolates from a woman. Don't accept drinks from strangers. If you wear contact lenses and become lost in the woods, human saliva is better than water for cleaning your contacts. While both fluids contain bacteria, water is more likely to contain amoeba and parasites which cause keratitis. Dear ladies, if you think we're feeling down just hug us and say you're there for us. Don't ask what's wrong. If we want to tell you then we will tell you ourselves. My clit is not a nub you need to sandblast. You bring a sandblaster to bed. I guess I'm vanilla after all. Do not be embarrassed to use the restroom before bedroom activities. No one wants to pretend they can't smell that smell. Excusing yourself to wash is never going to be an issue. This goes both ways. Stop rubbing the clits so hard. Reciprocate. Some guys don't get your mixed signals. Sometimes just go for it female here when you're going down on us and we're about to come don't go faster or harder or change anything you're doing just keep doing the thing that got us to the point of coming things get hypersensitive down there so it's easy to overdo it in those moments and kill it don't hit on people while they're working especially if they're in any kind of customer service position we're literally being paid to be nice to you it doesn't mean we want a bang if you find a beautiful individual, smart and funny don't instantly assume they're off limits. They could be quite lonely. Applies to both genders.